Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'll be making a really quick video um, showing you how to fix a DNG error in, um, in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 or CS7. Um, before you do anything, make sure you close you close um, Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 or, or CS7. Make sure that it's closed. Um, so two files two things you're gonna need um, ginger HD I'll provide them in the link so you don't have to go looking for it you'll you just I'll, um, you'll be there and all you have to do is just download all right um, all right, so these two things you're gonna need all right you're gonna go to your computer yeah, my computer then go to your local C drive or programming files go to your Adobe folder whether you're using uh, Premiere Pro CS7 or CS6 um, I mean whichever one you're using just click I mean click on it sorry so I'm using uh, Premiere Pro I, I use both by the way yeah alright so I'm gonna do this one um, you go to your plugins folder Go to common and you're gonna drag this over. This is first okay, ready yet? First thing you're gonna do is drag this over the importer cinema dng dot pr and now I already have it on there, so I'm not gonna do it again. Now before you do that, make sure your Adobe Premiere Pro is closed or else you have you run into some problems. Alright, now I, I haven't ran, I haven't run into anything, into any problems, but I've heard of people who ran into problems and, and I don't want that to happen, so make sure it's closed, alright? Um, after you do that, now this step is kind of complicated, um, I'm going to try to be short and simple with this, I'm going to try to be as First off, you're gonna open this up, the README, and um, you're gonna follow the steps here. Um, there's one, there's actually one step on here that does not work. Um, if you have any problems, you can actually contact this person. All right, but here's the steps. Basically, all you're gonna do, I'll I'll I'll, I'll do it right now. I'll, I'll show you right now. First thing you're gonna do is whether you have 64 bit or a 32 bit. If you have a 32 bit, then you're gonna use this folder. If you have a 64 bit computer, then you're gonna use this. All right, so you're gonna go. Since I have a 64 bit, you just go into this folder and you just copy everything onto it. Now I already did that. Uh, I'll show you. I already did that. All right. After you have done that, you're gonna open this up. License. Well, it says that you need to open this up. Well, actually, no, you don't have to open up. Forget about that part. Just go to this website, and I'll provide this in the link too. All right. The website. 19lights.com/license/generator.html. And after you do that, you're going to minimize that. Click this. What is my MAC address? You can open that up, and whatever MAC address you see right there, you're going to copy it. This is mine, and you're going to submit it. Once you've done that, now this is for, for anybody that has a MAC. Um, you're going to follow these instructions right here. This is for the Mac users. If you have Windows, you follow these instructions. So for people who have Windows, all you're gonna do is right click and save link as. Alright. And you're going to you're gonna put it in this folder. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. I know I say you didn't have to open this up. Make sure you open this up. Once you open this up, you should see 
it, it's going to create a folder so it'll create a folder for you so make sure you open this up first once you've done that then you go back to this I'm sorry and you're going to right click save link as and then you're going to save it in uh, the 19 lights folder alright so that's all you do now after you have done that done all those steps I'll go over one more time just in case anybody didn't um, didn't understand or if I wasn't clear uh, you import this first it's gonna go into your local C drive programs Adobe if you have CS7 and you put it in there or if you have CS6 you do the same thing same thing well, actually, for CSX is no. I'm sorry, it's the same thing. Okay, so once again, you go to your plugins. Make sure you put it in this folder, the common folder. Just drag it over, and that's it. That's the first step. Second step, you go here. You open this up first. I'm sorry. Open this up first. Actually, gives you the little, little instructions on what to do. Um, I'm sorry, you're gonna transfer this over first. I know I'm saying a whole bunch of stuff, but do this first. Do this step first. Transfer this over into your into your common folder, the Adobe Premiere CC plugins and common folder. All right, then you're gonna go back. You're gonna open this up. And um, I'll show you what it does when you open it up. Okay. Um, now, let me show you something here. Now, when reading this, the guy says to, to activate the license, run the file. That's what I did. License manager. exe. And when you go, I mean, when you press go, it will phone home and create a license for you. Um now I don't know where it says I don't see anywhere where it where it says press go and it will phone home and create a license for you. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. But anyway, you're gonna um it says I have thirty one it says I have a it's a your trial expires in thirty one days. Let me show you something something I, w I was trying out now um, I know this is kind of way off but the trial expired I was just testing something out now it expires in 31 days right let me see something here I'm just gonna put this to April 30th alright X out of that let's open this back up Now you're going to see something where it says, oh, your trial has expired. See? But when I, um, when I open up Adobe, I mean, um, Adobe Premiere Pro, it still works. I don't know how, but it still works. still works I'll even prove it to you um, let's leave it on April 30th I know I'm going off like what I know I'm going off way off topic but I know it's a trial so I don't want anybody to get scared and be like oh man you know what if it ends well it ended for me and and I just showed you she showed you proof that the trial version was up and uh, the plugin still works. I'm going to show you that it actually works. I know I'm talking a lot right now. Alright, says that it expired. Now, if I go into here, my Adobe Premiere Pro, load it up. Now, 
Now before I wasn't able to import any DNG files. I kept running into issues, kept getting errors, but with the uh, Ginger HD it really helped. It fixed everything for me. Alright. Uh, let's see if I'm alright, so let me show you now. Now my trial is expired. So um I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's see. Actually I I do. Let me start now. So let's go to where my raw files are. This is my raw files by the way. I'm gonna open it up. And as you can see it still works. Um I can still import it. I can still import it. Still works. See? Still works. Um, if I go to my ginger effect, oh, once you once you have put the ginger HD um, files into into the folder, you're gonna see it in your effects folder. And the funny thing is, I could still use it without it saying like, "Oh, your trial is up." I can still use the effect. I don't know how, but. Still apply the effect. Oh, well, anyway, yeah, you you know you see what I'm saying. Still apply the effects, and it still works even though the trial is up. That's how you um. That's the fix, or I don't know if that's a fix, or that could be just the workaround. I don't know, either one. But um, that's how you do it. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just uh, just let me know. All right, all right, guys, peace.